Hey guys, it's me Shail here and welcome to our brand new video on the channel. Today's video is another tutorial video that I'm bringing you after a lot of, lot of, lot of requests like on my social media accounts, my Twitter account was literally filled with messages having, you know, when's the next tutorial coming up, every time I stream people would be asking, bro, where is the new tutorial? So I was like, bro, it's time we record it finally. So yeah, today we will be having a little tutorial video in which I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a grunge Fortnite header that is going to be popping up on the screen right now how to make this in the simplest and the easiest way possible so this video is going to be super simple and easy so make sure to watch the whole thing if you want to you know get to the end smoothly without any problems I'm gonna be covering every single thing that I'm gonna be doing in the video in the banner so yeah and before we start off the tutorial i have some words from our sponsors for the video the sherry R is a blog on the internet the sherry R.com. this guy is a very um smart tech guy and has some really really interesting blogs um, out there on his website related to cryptocurrency uh, mining and stuff like that so if you are someone that is interested in cryptocurrency or bitcoins mining or any sort of stuff that is related to that particular domain make sure to check him out his link would be in the description and yeah without any further ado let's get started Alright, alright, alright. So we are in our Photoshop. So um, I'm gonna be using two, basically two packs for this whole banner. Now these both both of these packs are completely free, and you can find them in the Astral Editing Community. The link to the Discord of Astral Com Editing Community will be in the description. Also, the link to the download and the video of Astral Pack would be in the description. Also, another pack, that the second pack that we will be using is Elite Render Pack to find renders for our header so like this is a very very good render pack you will have about 200 plus renders in here so i will be leaving a link to download this pack made by composed by mr mile fx it's gonna be in the description you can download it and um if you would be interested in getting the psd file for this design i will be having a light goal of 200 likes this time previously it was 100 and we hit that very easily so i, th I thought why not increase it to 200 and make it two times more difficult to you know achieve so if we get 200 likes on this video i'm gonna be dropping the psd file link in the description and the comments so if you want the psd file hit that like button and yeah so the two packs that we will be using are astral pack and the elite render pack now astral pack is a very 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 diverse pack with so much stuff and especially if you are a fortnite designer and are looking for different grunge um particles overlays and stuff this pack is the pack for you my guys so without you know wasting our time let's get just let, like let's just get into the work now so firstly we're gonna create a new file control plus n or you can simply press file and new like it's, it's completely completely up to you i'm gonna click on control i'm just gonna go into file and create a new file all right so we are in the new document tab this is the adobe photoshop cc 20 money so that's why i am having this tab open up otherwise if you are using an older version um it's going to be different for you it's going to be like simply it's going to be you know somewhat it's a, a, just a pop window um with some options this options are going to be similar but you will not be having such stuff like that we have over here so i'm not going to even use these i'm going to go with the preset details so that the people with the old versions can you know relate and you know catch up follow the whole thing so yeah that's that so the thing we have over here is we're going to be going with the default size the optimum size for a twitter header that is with 1500 1500 and the height gonna be 500 and uh, i usually put the resolution at 300 the color mode at rgb and background contents try to make it transparent um, it doesn't really matter you will have to you know create a new layer and stuff but i usually keep it at transparent but it's you know personal preferences so just click on create and you will have a black canvas now you you do have a black canvas but you don't have 
any idea what you're gonna be making or anything so let's just get started by putting in a character because that's the most important thing that's gonna be you know showcasing on the header after you know your name um, for the respective owner of the header so let's get into the elite render pack I already have render selected out here you guys can see that we literally have so many uh, renders here but if I went through all of these it's literally gonna be take gonna be taking me about 10 to 15 minutes just to go through all of these um, so yeah that's why I already have one selected over here we're gonna be using this skin this render for our grunge header so I'm just gonna be clicking on the layer now if you don't know how to drag things from one Pack to another document you just click on the link click on the layer that you want to you know drag or move and just use the move tool by clicking V or just clicking on um, by pressing V or clicking on this move tool on the toolbar and just drag the render to your document that you are going to be using it in now that we have our render in here we can just close it like that because my PC cannot handle <laughs> sorry for that um, <coughs> let's just close that because our PC cannot handle uh, a lot of documents open up at the same time now um, we're just gonna resize it according to the Right, so we have the render in here and why do I have it in center now usually people do have it on either the left or the right You know, it's 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 totally on the people, you know on your preference But why I'm putting it in the center I'm gonna be going with a central design with the text um, In the center so that I can cover up one more topic for you guys that is gonna be that outline text on the render while the background text is complete like I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I mean by that before um, before we do that so let's just get into the rest of the stuff so firstly you're gonna open up the astral pack that I mentioned I am gonna be opening up that and once that's open we will be back Okay, okay, we are uh, in the astral pack, so let's just close this. And uh, the only thing that we will mostly be using in here is this grunge part. So, um, actually, what I'm gonna be use, doing is I'm just gonna be opening up this, and uh, there are a lot of stuff that you can use for your, you know, header, banner stuff. But yeah, so first of all, we are gonna be going with the overlays, that is gonna be the most important part, that's gonna be the most. Um, basic part that is the background so um, these are some overlays these are plastic effects and um, they are used mostly in grunge headers and stuff so these are the overlays that we will be using um, you know just for the aesthetics and then we have the assets that are gonna be going on here and there these can serve as the background as well they can serve as multiple things it really depends on uh, <coughs> how you use it um, and how you want to use it and stuff so there is pretty much a lot of stuff going on in here so without you know going into a lot of detail let's first work on the canvas we know we need to have a background color so I'm gonna go with off-white uh, off-white um, background now usually in crunch headers you either go with the off-white background for the beginning or a off black so I'm gonna go with off-white because um, you know her um, attire is black so it's gonna blend in if I put in black um, there we have now now we're gonna bring in some grunge assets from over there into our banner let's see actually um, as a matter of fact bring in the grunge overlays instead uh, so like for example this grunge overlay is gonna look absolutely sick if we put it right in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna no, it's, it's 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 giving a very nice look if you can see if you guys can see this is going to be giving now what you can do is you can select the layer click on control plus U and basically if if I oopsies, if I adjust it a little bit so that it can come a bit more you know visible 
Now, the other thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be bringing in another crunch overlay like this but this 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 comes in at the end all right so i'm going to show you why what i mean by that um we have some grunge textures in here that we're going to be using for the background um it's basically the background is a part where you are going to be experimenting with different stuff um i'm going to be using this one because this one looks re really sick uh, i'm going to be using it right here like this put it beneath it and you know I guess you would be getting what I'm trying to do over here. And so basically I put it right beneath it and what I did was I just put it beneath everything and then I put that overlay that we had and it's giving us such a you know nice look. Now it it is looking a bit too bright and it really isn't you know that attractive so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the background and the overlay and selecting the both layers i'm gonna press ctrl e so that it merges and now we're gonna go into ctrl u to lighten you know decrease the lighting a bit so that it's a bit dark and you know has a more aesthetic look to it um now the color scheme we are going to be needing another third color so that you know the text is more um you know appealing more you know standing out more in the header we don't need the text to be blending in so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna firstly go into the text tool by pressing on the t or just clicking over here now um the font that i usually use for grunge headers is cloister black because it gives a very nice um grungy effect um you know aesthetic grungy effect so let's just say for example the name for this header is um let's see um let's just go with shail all right shail that's right so Control t we're gonna put this at zero and we're gonna increase the Yeah, we are going to increase the size, right? So now that the size is increased, you guys can see that this off-white color is looking so good in the background. But, you know, it's 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 behind the character. You can barely see the whole thing in there, right? So what what's the purpose of that? The reason that I told in the beginning of the video that I want to cover one thing by putting the character in the center is that I'm going to show you how to overlay a text on the character by just having outlines, you know, empty outlines, hollow outlines. So we got the text, duplicate the text, you know, we got it here, over here, put it over the character like this, rasterize the type, and then the layer create clipping mask now it's masked to the character go into the blending options this is how i do it there are uh, there's gonna definitely be some other way as well but this is how i do it go into stroke now the color that you are going to be choosing um for my um reason over here i'm gonna go with red i believe um put the color you know increase the stroke by a bit and then decrease the fill to zero if you can see we have this effect going on in here like this we have we have a outline on the character we can either use this or we can use just a similar color like this and maybe increase it a little bit right so what's what's the what's the whole purpose is to make the text more visible you know more of um, you know standing out and thingy and this looks absolutely sick in my opinion so this is my personal favorite text effect you know it, it makes the whole thing look very um, professional and it is a very good thing to use in grunge banners obviously so I'm just gonna um, make it in the center all right so we're good to go Next thing that we will be doing is now that the character is in here, we aren't going to be putting some 
camera raw filter effects really quick on the character go into the filter go into the camera raw filter now camera raw filter is going to be really 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 beneficial so i really do um you know uh, would say okay, make sure to upgrade your um, software from Adobe Photoshop CS6 if you're using that older version uh, upgrade to CC because it has this camera raw filter which is really beneficial now if you go into the presets I usually what I do for um, grunge headers is either use vivid or use matte for this I'm gonna use matte I'm gonna go into the grain I'm gonna put in medium grain on it and a little light uh, light sharpening and if I do believe yeah, matte does look really good. So I'm just going to turn OK and look at that. It's basically going to feel like it's blending in with the background. And a similar thing we are going to do with this text as well. But before we do that, I'm going to be doing something else with the text as well. Now the text is here, but, but it does look a bit a little bland. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer once more. Pull it right beneath the main layer and slightly move it below right and go into control plus u and make it a darker color like this if you're getting what i mean so that you know um it makes it makes it look a more more decent and more you know um attractive in a sense if that mean uh, if that makes any sense right so that's that's how i usually do the text now um, i don't usually put any kind of fancy effects on the text in grunge banners because after all it's grunge and you don't need to make it fancy it has to be you know very dull and stuff and i'm gonna put the same camera roll filter on over here and look at that it, it just makes it look like it's blending in the whole thing let me just rasterize this layer style and put the camera roll filter on over here as well. So basically we are done with the character and our text. Now comes in the part where we are going to be putting in the different effects and different stuff. Because grunge, in my opinion, is a lot about the assets, a lot about the you know overlays, a lot about the stuff that you you know have. Uh, it's basically a game of having the most... Um, things to put in your banner so like for example we're gonna go into the astral pack once more and we're gonna close the grunge textures obviously we're gonna go into grunge assets and if we go over here um i'm pretty sure yes this this is a very common um thing that people use in their grunge headers so i'm just gonna select this and drag it right in here um now this is gonna be black so if you find any black um image you can make it png you know transparent by just clicking on screen now the option is only valid if the whole thing is basically uh, black but it also has you know something else going on in there if it's all black you're not supposed to do that all right so yeah it really depends on the stuff and uh there's there's nothing much um in grunge assets but we do have the stocks, the grunge stock, that, like aesthetic stocks that are going to be coming in handy over here. So yeah, like I'm going to, I'm going to go through them. Like for this, for example, the skull, um, these, you know, like these random kind of things, they really go in with these kind of headers but it's completely up to you it's um it's your taste and it's it's it's, it's after all your your thing so you know you can add particles in there as well you can you know the layer styles are always you know but yeah it's completely up to you if you want to use stocks or half tones or anything else now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back into the crunch i'm gonna use some overlays right to make uh, things look a bit more spicier like for example this one looks really good and if I drag it in here increase the size by a bit and uh, copy you it's giving this red kind of vibe you know it ma it's making it's making it look absolutely 
wonderful. Oopsies. Right? It's, it's, it's adding to the effect. It's adding to the whole thing. Um, other than that, we can search for more stuff as well. It's, it's completely up to you if you would like to add in more and more stuff. Now, I'm go I was going to show you how you use this. Now, I'm going to drag this in. This is usually used when you are making some anime headers and banners. So, basically, you are going to put it all over the thing. And what you're going to do is... Uh, my ma I'm really sorry. My mouse. Alright, so basically, you are going to have such effect. But it really depends if you are going to alternate it or what. So you can basically alternate it. You can, you know, you can experiment with a lot of stuff. For example, if I put it at overlay. And I put it, yeah, completely... I put the opacity at 45. We are having this effect, right? Which makes it look really badass, in my opinion. Um, other than that, we can like decrease the effect. It, you know, looks a bit more um, visible, if it makes sense, if the word makes sense. And we can even decrease it furthermore to even make it more, um, yeah, less. You know, ah, uh, you you would know what I mean by that. So basically, grunge headers are just you experimenting different things um, with your header. Basically, you should have a lot of stocks in your inventory. You know, you need a lot of stuff to go with um, and experiment with. Just put in grunge and you know, grunge stuff in there. And uh, Astro Pack, it's a complete, complete package for you all to put in different, really good stuff. You know, um, it basically has literally all the stuff that you know a graphic designer would ever need for his, um, you know, uh, grunge banner, grunge header needs. I can basically put this in here as well, just like this. For example, I'm gonna put this in here. this basically like this we can and then just go on to erase the tool and put a little oopsies uh, <laughs> I forgot to put the hardness mo mode to hardness to zero uh, put the hardness to zero obviously and you know it's gonna feel like it's blending in um, so yeah you can you can pretty much add in a whole ton tons 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 of effects in here and basically make it look like it's some some professional um, kind of thing because honestly um, I'm, just, I'm gonna be completely honest with all of you um, grunge headers is something that literally any graphic designer can do and um, basically all he has to do is just basically just be a bit experimentative I, I guess that if that's if that's if that's the right word for it and um, just experiment a lot with your stuff Put in new stuff in there and pretty much you will have a good grunge header so this is a little grunge header that we made really quick it's super simple i don't think there's any complicated stuff all you have to do is just drag in stuff and let your creativity unfold on the header pretty much and um yeah the links to everything will be in the description below i hope you guys um found this um so really helpful for you and I hope to see your creations and if you want the PSD file let's get the like go 200 hit the like button and if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe if we are really close to 2000 subscribers I would really appreciate it and turn on the notification bell because I stream almost daily um, on a daily basis so 
I do GFX on that on my streams as well, and it's really um, uh, a very educational kind of streamy thingies. <laughs> I don't I don't really know, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys um, found this whole header helpful in one way or another. Um, but yeah, thank you so freaking much for uh, tuning in, and I'll obviously see you all next time. Till then, it's a wrap. Peace off.